there's a total solar eclipse on the way, and it's kind of a big deal. We've been really fortunate to have two total eclipses visible across a wide swath of the U.S. recently, first in 2017 and now on April 8, 2024. The next time such an eclipse will cross the states is 21 years from now. If you live in or near the path of totality or you're traveling there to experience the eclipse, you're in for an incredible experience. But what if you're not going to be able to experience totality for this eclipse in person? What can you expect and how can you still enjoy it? Well, for starters, NASA has you covered with a live webcast from multiple locations as the moon's shadow moves across the country. So join us for the total eclipse online, whatever your plans. If you're anywhere in the continental U.S. outside of totality, you'll still experience a partial solar eclipse. The amount of the sun to be covered by the moon at maximum eclipse depends on how far you are from the path of totality. In observing a partial eclipse, you'll still need to use specialized eye protection, such as eclipse glasses, a pinhole projector, or a telescope with a solar filter. One of the easiest methods is something most of us have in our kitchen, a regular colander. These make excellent pinhole cameras that project the eclipse onto the ground. And barring that, the sun dapples that filter through the tree leaves do something very similar. It's also fun to note the eerie way the sunlight dims during the eclipse, especially in places where the moon covers 80% or more of the sun's disk. NASA has a bunch of eclipse resources to help you get ready for this awe-inspiring celestial event. There's info on safe viewing, citizen science opportunities, and you'll even find our Eclipse Explorer, where you can find eclipse details for your specific zip code. From wherever you're observing, solar eclipses are remarkable events. So observe safely and join our live webcast, because it's an event you surely don't want to miss.